Okay, so for the following circuit, we have to find what the value RL should be for maximum power transfer. Uh, so, and then we find the maximum power. So to understand what we need to do, let's start by writing what, uh, a definite uh, circuit. So this is obviously V definite, and this is uh, R definite. And then this part is whatever this part will be. So we see uh, between terminals A and B, there is a resistor load. So we'll include a resistor load. Okay. So the power at this resistor load, LBP, which is in watts, is equal to I squared, the current passing through this resistor, times the, resist, uh, times the resistor itself, which is uh, RL. So we know what I can be. I will be uh, equal. So we know V is equal to IR. So it will be V dominant all over the total resistor. So RTH plus RL. Okay. So we can plug that into I here. So VTH all over RTH plus RL squared. RL and this is equal to power and power is at its maximum when RL is equal to RTH and obviously there's a lot of you know uh, calculus involved to uh, find that which I don't think anyone uh, wants to go over but pretty much know that when RL is equal to RTH that's when power that's when you get your maximum power so it'll be VTH uh, equal uh, so VTH over RTH plus RTH, which is two RTH to the power of two times RTH. All right, and then let's continue. This only VTH squared four RTH squared times RTH. This and one of this cancels out. So the formula for power max will be this. So let's put this equation aside. So P max is equal to VTH squared all over 4 RTH. Okay, let me get rid of all of this for now. So now let's actually find RTH. So we'll start by uh, ignoring this RL. So let's find RTH. So we can start by doing a short circuit here and doing an open wire here. Okay, so our circuit will look like this. Okay, so 1 over 6 plus 1, one over 12 and 1 over that, that gives you... That gives you 4 plus 3 plus 2. So RTH is equal to 9. Okay, now we have to find, uh, so this is what RL has to be equal to for maximum power. So RL has to be equal to 9 ohms. All right, so that's the first part done. So we can plug RTH into here, but we need to, we need to find VTH, so V definite. So V definite, uh, so to find that, uh, we get rid of this portion of the circuit. So it'll be an open wire here. And since it's an open wire, all current passing through here will be zero. So we can pretty much ignore this resistor as the current passing through it is zero. And we'll put our focus through here. Okay. So let's call, so the voltage at this region, that'll be VTH. So let's call this I1 here. And this region, it will be negative 2 amps because it's moving the opposite direction here. So it will be, so for mesh I1, it'll, I see it to be minus 12 plus 6 I1 plus 12 I1 minus minus 2. So it'll be 12 plus 6 I1 plus 12 times I1 plus 2 
equals 0. So minus 12 plus 6i1 plus 12i1 plus 24. Collect like terms. 12 plus 6, that's 18i1. Uh, then we have minus 12 plus 24, that's just 12. So i1 will be minus 12 over 18. And that gives me minus 0 0.66667. All right. Or just minus 2 over 3. Now we can use that to solve for, you know, our values. So let's start by finding the uh, uh, value here. Okay. So to find this voltage, uh, we should see it should be equal to the uh, voltage of this resistor. Okay. So V will be equal to 12 times the current passing through it. So let's take um, minus 2 over 3 subtracted by minus 2. We'll take the absolute value of it either way. So it doesn't matter if it's minus 2, minus, minus 2 over 3. Just take the absolute value of it. And that's 16. So it's 16 volts here. Okay. All right, now what do we do next? When the current passes through this region, it experiences a uh, sorry, other way around. Okay, when the current passes through this region, it experiences a voltage drop. And the reason I said other way around is because uh, this is minus two volts, sorry, minus two amps. So that must mean it's going in the other direction. So let's focus, so we'll work in that way. So VTH minus uh, 16 volts will be equal to the voltage drop, which will be equal to the current passing through it, which one, which is just two amps times three. Okay, so VTH will be 16 plus six, and that gives me 22. Okay, 22 volts. So now we can plug that into here, Pmax. It'll be 22 squared all over 4 times 9. So the, let me see what that gives me. All right, so 13.444 watts is the maximum power.